And why is the United Nations condemning America's anti-terror drone program? Caution, you are about to enter the no-spin zone. The factor begins right now. Come back. The United Nations bashes America's predator drone program, which has reportedly killed hundreds of dangerous terrorists. That controversial story is next. Nine years and counting, the O'Reilly Factor. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Laura Ingram, in for Bill O'Reilly. And in the Unresolved Problem segment tonight, the United Nations takes aim at America's drone missile program. The anti-terror effort has reportedly killed hundreds of militants in Pakistan, but the UN says, quote, because drone operators are based thousands of miles away from the battlefield and undertake operations entirely through computer screens and remote auto feed, there is a risk of developing a, quote, PlayStation mentality to killing. With us now, Mark Levine, a liberal radio talk show host. It's always conservative radio talk show host, so we got you here, to, hey, uh, here today. How to are you? Here. Good to see you. Um, so where, where do you stand on this? Obviously, we've uh, been able to take out some top uh, problems, terrorist problems in Pakistan, in very remote areas. Uh, there have been some collateral damage, but overall the numbers, I think 50 in the last couple, you know, last, uh, couple of years. Uh, what's your beef with it? Well, the report doesn't specifically say drones are bad, to be clear. It just says that we need accountability for them. We need to have legal standards. We need to know who we're killing, who we're not killing. We need to make sure that the killings are killing the right people and not the wrong people. How does that play out, that it, we need standards? That means, what, the American military has to go to an international panel and no. say, no. this is the group we're trying to target in the no. mountains of Afghanistan? That's not how I read the report. Okay. The, the report goes through and talks about the fact that the United States has set up standards. It wants to know what those standards are. And as I read the report, maybe I have a liberal reading of the report, but as I read the report, they don't want us to have to say, we're going to kill the number three of Al-Qaeda tomorrow. That's not what they're looking for. They're looking for us to say that our standards are based on some kind of reasonably objective way to be sure we got the right person, not the wrong person. Well, there are going to be mistakes, are there not? I mean, there are mistakes in war? There will be war? mistakes, and it also goes on the report to say that if there are mistakes, we right. should have remedial matters. Well, and that's it's really not that controversial. Um, the, the Obama administration, are you surprised, has been basically carrying on the Bush tradition and, and really kind of more so, it up a little bit, more right? More so. You may remember the debates. Uh, uh, Barack Obama said he was going to take it to Pakistan, and McCain said, don't do it. Mm -hmm. And Barack Obama said, no, I'm going to, because that's where Is the that terrorists are. Is that causing liberal angst that among the president's most popular policies uh, are his, in his approach to terrorism, fighting terrorism, go, going after, you know, the surge was popular at the time, maybe less so today. But that's carrying on kind of the Bush mentality, whatever you want to call it. Does that give angst to liberals? Uh, well, I mean, not this I'm liberal. I'm treating you like, a, like not, a, an not, endangered species, not, not, not which this you liberal. may be after are, this next election. There are definitely people on the left, the Kucinich wing of the yeah. Democratic Party, as it were, that would yeah. cause a tremendous amount of angst. I think for the regular mainstream liberal in the Democratic Party, as long as the president is smart about it, as long as we're killing the right people and not the wrong people, we're okay with it. We want to make sure that a lot of things aren't do done like Bush did, like secret prisons and torturing people that, that were innocent or spying on people. the fact that the president has said that we can detain people indefinitely? who are enemy combatants, who are the worst of the worst. I, I can't remember if that's his exact phrasing, but he did say, and this is, you know, this New York Times wrote about it, that we can detain people indefinitely. Well, first what do you of all, think about a, a, a liberal radio talk show host, a liberal president saying we can detain the worst of the worst indefinitely? First of all, we cannot do that to American citizens. The Supreme Court has been clear. That's what George Bush tried to do. Obama's against it. Supreme Court's against it. We're not going to do it to American citizens. For non-American citizens, I think we have to go by the rules of war. There are laws of war. You can hold prisoners of war. But this has to be someone you capture on a battlefield attacking American troops. What's not a battlefield somebody... today? How about well, a cafe where someone tries to explode... Uh, you know, Americans. That would to... that would count for me. Is but that a not, but yes, if they're trying to explode somebody okay. at a cafe. Not if they're meeting at a cafe with a known terrorist leader. Mm -hmm. That's not enough. Now, one one thing that I you know, when you think about what's happened now in Afghanistan, how intractable it seems to be. You know, we're we're not making the progress some thought we would have made. Although you know, the surge is you know almost complete. The number the of real dangers in Pakistan, as we both know. right. But but when we think about the UN saying this is going to encourage PlayStation mentality. Well, then, what doesn't encourage PlayStation mentality? I mean, I've been up in these uh, Black Hawk helicopters. I've been in these armored, up-armored vehicles and armored vehicles. You know, they're, they're doing email. They're, they're doing infrared targeting. That, that, that's, that's warfare today, uh, much of warfare. is is high technology, snipers sh killing someone from 1,000 yards. 
you don't necessarily see, you know, see everything you want to see, but you take down your target. No, I don't think it's a high technology that the United Nations is complaining about. PlayStation mentality. No, no, it's not, it's not that it's high record, tech. The well, UN's track look, record I, I'm on not, human I'm not rights here to defend the United Nations. Well, you shouldn't because their track record on, on human rights I'm and not what they've done to Israel is an, an outrage. I agree with you. I agree with you. But their point is that when we are targeting someone from thousands of miles away from a bunker in Atlanta rather than a bunker in Afghanistan, it's more likely we're going to make a mistake. And in that respect, they're Do right. Do we have a right to determine our own national security interests and pursue them aggressively? Well, there are international human rights standards. Yes, in general, under American right. law, I absolutely agree with you. But, but here's the problem. If yeah. we go beyond the international human rights standards, oh. it won't be against our Constitution. But what it will do is it will tell other states throughout the world they can do the same are thing. Still, are you still standing by the mentality that if we shut down Gitmo, they'll like us? Because I, I can't believe anyone ever argued that, and the world is probably more dangerous than it was a year ago. We do need to shut down Gitmo, because Gitmo is a gonna... symbol of American illegal actions. You, it is illegal. It's, it's outside wildly the law. effective. Do you, th do you think that no more we're effective than a prison in, in Kansas? If we or New stop York. drone attacks tomorrow, do you think the Taliban? Was, you know, we no. want these girls to go to school. No. We want. We're going to give up our aims on Pakistan. Not, not the Taliban. I don't care. But, but here's the thing, Lori. As you know, there's a lot of people that are sympathetic. Not the hardline Al Qaeda but people. But they don't care about that. No, there are a lot of people are sympathetic. Weakness. And the more civilians we kill, the more terrorists sometimes we create. We if we can been, kill the bad guys yeah. and not kill the civilians, we're less likely that people join the bad given guys. Given what we've done, though, and given the enormity of this anti terror challenge, we've been incredibly meticulous, probably to the to detriment of, of the troops' safety, our own troops' safety. I, I think we've been meticulous. I think Israel has been meticulous. And I don't think the world gives us enough credit for You're it. That being liberal, said, as I thought. That, that, that being said, yeah. that being said, we have to have standards. Standards, All right. Because we are a democracy, we have to be better than they are. Standards are determined by the voters. Anyway, Mark, I appreciate it. And still to come, Sir Paul McCartney.